I feel like uh, fame is about to happen to me. And that I really am, I really would, would, I, I, I don't, I'm not, I, I, I am not happy about that. I really, it's, it's really not something that I'm wanting to have happen to me. I, for now, I'm, I'm able to be outside without people rushing up to me with cameras. I mean, the, I do have stalkers. I have lots of stalkers, just people, but at least they pretty much stay in their cars, um, which is quite awful anyway. <laughs> but it's not like the things that I see happening to really famous people where, where they're just like surrounded by crowds of people with like all the cameras. I don't even know what I would do. I've thought about that. I've thought about what I would do um, if that started to happen to me. I think I might just sit down. <laughs> I think I might just like actually sit down on the sidewalk. I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's some sort of like procedure that people usually use for that sort of thing. But I think if they all crowded in around me like that, I think maybe, I think the, the, my first thought would be to not even try to fight my way through them. But just to like sit down on the sidewalk and just like sit there, you know, maybe put my, 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 my hands over my face or my hands over my head or something and just like wait for them to go away. Because I mean, what, what is that gonna, you know, I mean, what, what would they really be getting out of it? Just obviously the only thing they would get once I sat down would be uh, pictures of someone who was like, <laughs> obviously, obviously didn't want them to be there, didn't want to say anything and just wanted them to leave, right? I, I but I just, I feel like, um, it's interesting because I, I, I'm the target of so many accusations, but all, all I did was start writing. That was all I did. This started about um, 10 years ago. And I never really, I just never, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think about how the way I looked was going to affect people so strongly. It's just that it's, it seems like there's, there's a point at which for these people, all the people who are part of this industry in one way or another, you know, the entertainment industry and related industries, looks are an incre are incredibly important. They're 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 incredibly important. And I just and I'm not I'm not from a place where that's true. I'm not from a state where that's true. I'm not from a side of the country where that is where that is, you know, really quite as much true. Um the people that I knew would 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 laugh at that at that type of value system and it just didn't occur to me that it would be that the way that I looked would be taken more seriously and and as a more as a, and as a more important thing about me than anything that I actually had to say. It really didn't. I just assumed I just assumed that the things that the, the the way that I wrote uh, would be more important than what I looked like, right? And the person that I was would be would be perceived, and it wasn't. It wasn't. And the way that I looked was much more important, and has continued to be much more important. Even 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 in the sense of ridiculing me for the way that I look and the fact that I'm aging and the fact that I'm poor. I mean, I don't. I, again, I mean, it, it, so, so, some of the some of the some of the taunting about the things about me that are not beautiful has kind of has kind of died down. I mean, it's so obvious, you know, that I already know. I already know. It's not, it's not. It's not like I don't know. You know, the things about me that aren't beautiful, and there's nothing I can do about it. I don't have any money. You know, I mean, my teeth. My teeth are kind of getting worse every year. They didn't used to look quite like this, and now like the side's getting crowded, and this side is spacing out, and I can't. There's nothing I can do about it. I don't have the money. I do not have the money to get braces. I just don't have it, you know. Maybe I, maybe, maybe I can get, maybe someone would give me a retainer. Uh, but I've been also really busy, you know, over these for the past two years, just being homeless, and then just the past several months, like with school and everything, you know, and all the other stuff that I deal with all the time. It's just I'm not make I don't I don't make having like a perfect body and a perfect face and perfect teeth my first priority every second of the day. I just don't, and it's interesting because. Because, you know, I mean, there's probably, there are a lot of good writers out there, tons of good writers, you know, and like a lot of the world, they're not, you know, like, it's just, I mean, they're, they're not necessarily beautiful. And maybe it's better. <laughs> because I've spent, I've spent six years living in a, in a, in a horrible situation that not only was, was brought on me by people who were attracted to what I looked like, and who thought that was more important than anything else I said or anything else I did, and who have treated me like that, like that's really who I am, the sum total of who I am, and have ignored everything that I say about really important things about what I feel and what I think, and are constantly trying to, it seems like, project on me what, what they think I ought to be like and how I ought to feel. I'm like, why do, you, why do you think you love me? You know, when you clearly have no respect for any of the things that I say that, about things that are really, really important, and it's really all based on how I look. 
Because if, if I didn't look the way that I look, if I, you know, I mean, it's just, and certainly these past several years have aged me, but that's not really, that doesn't really matter. I mean, I, I think without, without, without all their money, the people my age wouldn't, wouldn't look any better than I do, you know, but it's, that's, that's not, that's not really it. I mean, it's, if it, if it weren't for the way that I look, uh, I could have just been a good writer, you know, and all this other, all this other craziness wouldn't have happened, but it's not my craziness. It's their craziness, you know? Uh, it's like I've like it's like I walked into some into this trap um that and I didn't know I didn't know I didn't know how they how how they were gonna fixate on an, on an idea of what I'm like based on what I look like and concentrate on that to the exclusion of everything else and not only that but treat me so miserably and not only that but behave as if their miserable treatment of me is my fault because of the way I look and not their fault because of how sexist they are. So, you know, I mean, I feel like uh, fame, is, fame is on its way to me, and I don't want it, and I don't know what to do about it. 